so an, an important thing to do for today is I will from like from start to finish I will do a web control uh, demonstration to see how so this is the this is a device here for the web control and it has a so this is the web control panel and go to the computer so this is the computer actually it's from the yolo cast so for, for those of you who don't own a yolo cast account i suggest you can you can start free by having that and it's over here when you scroll down here on the left bottom you see the web control you click it open then there's a device connection right D -d device connection it means you need to it said connect the computer and the device the same net local network and enter the ip address so to find the ip address you need to find it on the yellow box ultra currently the ultra only it's in the in a live event and you swipe all the way left and then you swipe down in the corner in the bottom and then there's a web control then you swipe down again it's the this ip address oh sorry so how to find the, how to find the ip address for the device so it's in the event then you swipe right and there's a setting and you click tab the setting you swipe all the way down you see the web control here then you this is all the tutorial the steps the necessary steps but the the main thing only thing is here the ip address so you see this is the number so i'll go back to show from the computer so i'm gonna create a side by side so on the left side you see the computer screen on the right side you see the uh, yolo bus ultra display so i'll do the quickly do the ip address so it'll be really nice if the computer can save the ip address at least in the setting here oh. i hope this is correct 192.168.3.250 okay it's wrong then i click connect this app is oh currently it's controlled by the uh, it's currently it's controlled by here currently it's controlled by here so I have to st stop controlling from the device so now it's a disconnected from the device okay so so instantaneously you see instantaneously you see the computer display so now it's a com uh, it's web controlling the device. Let me see if there's a good. So this is a web control demonstration right now. I'm no longer in a in a video source, but anyway, it's more of the showing you how this does. So the device div status like the Europe, uh, the app control, all the information, the version about the status, resolution, bit rate. It's not streaming, so it's a zero, and it's the memory uptime, and the network. The, the network it says the Wi-Fi, Ethernet not connecting, the SIM card, USB dongle is not connecting, and also the source. This is the one. It'll be, see how fast or see if there's a delay. So, can anyone see my mouse? I'll click, click this. So you hear here when I. Three, I would, right now I'll click the side by side, three, two, one, click. So it's basically real time. Right now I'll click the lo first local video, three, two, one. It's real time, right? And also the, the video. So, and also the overlay, we have two overlays here. Overlay page. And the social overlay, three, two, one. So it's here, the mouse is here, click. And I will switch the countdown timer. It's basically all the real time. 
And the good news is that API is in the making. And uh, this whole live stream for today is to uh, to ask questions for our users. What do you want to control from the app or the web? What do you want to control next? So we have a scoreboard in the making, so you can control a scoreboard from the app and you can from the computer very soon. And also the multi can replay very soon. And what's next? If you want to just add a destination from the app or from the computer, you want to connect your account with your YouTube, Facebook e easily or from like a, the way that you feel more comfortable to do. And if you want to feature comments, for example, you want, you want to feature comments. Something I would like is to feature comments from here is uh, I, I, I would prefer here if I could. So what do, do, do you want to control? So this is a question for you. And if you have any, any ideas, please feel free to comment. Network setting in the ad control app. So we can control monitor network connection. I guess we have a little bit, if not all of them. Uh, I'll switch the camera angle from this. So this is the app control. So we are current if if you see this, it's a searching. I, I'll just demonstrate the app control from here. So we have a two YOLO box out here. So if I find two. I know this one I'm gonna be demonstrate. I'll just remove it. So these are the two YOLO box ultra detected. They're just connected. When I connected, this is the interface. See the autofocus, it's really fast actually. See how fast our YOLO cam or the alpha cam, the fast focus. And then you can see this is the, on the bottom, on the bottom, this is the source, meaning you can switch all uh, video sources, including all the, not just the video source, but also the, the multi-views, for example. See on the back, it's sync. Also the audio, you can control the audio here. And there's the overlays, I create two overlays. You can see from here, then you see, you see from here the overlay or the switch, and I can quickly remove the overlay. You see that change, and it's respond really fast. Then I I switch the video source to the. Oh, we I still have the overlay. I remove the overlay, so the video source one, video source two, it's it's real time. So you see how handy this is, as long as it's in the same network. And also here, you mentioned about, uh, what's the question again? On oh, the network setting. I don't know what your setting means, but there's a lot of, uh, really a lot of uh, information about the device status, the software version, the firmware version, and also the, the resolution. And also see this here, it says you connected to this Wi-Fi. Below is the Wi-Fi name, above is the IP address. And there's uptime, we, we are, I don't know, we're up to for two hours. There's a memory and the CPU usage, lifetime. Since it's a demo device, so the lifetime or the stream time is zero. Also the temperature. I don't know if this is what you're asking, but uh, I just did uh, the app control. So again, I will show it again. So I can, I can stop this live stream. So the first thing you need to do is to have this app. This app is actually on our website. This, again, this app is called YOLO Live. It's currently only on Android. On Android only. Then you click it. Then uh, normally uh, the, the, there's nothing here. Then you uh, it will automatically search. Then as long as on the same Wi-Fi network you you read detect the device. In this case, in this case, we want to connect with this. 
So basically, instantly you are connected with device, and you can have the controls. So I have, I hope I have a good demonstration about the, about this feature, and it's really handy. It's really useful and practical, and it's really bug free. Actually, I'm surprised it 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 works so well. Actually, the the first. Basically, when we released this, it's actually the, like the first version of this app, and it works so well. So that's it for the for this question.